Good afternoon, Southside families. We are so excited to welcome all of our students, staff, and families back to school using our hybrid model tomorrow. We wanted to send you some important updated information for our first day of school. If you have any questions, please make sure that you contact your child's classroom teacher. If you have not yet signed up for your child's classroom teacher's dojo account, please do so today. If you need another invite, you can email your child's teacher. I hope that you'll join me tonight at six o'clock on our school's Facebook page for a welcome back read aloud for all of our students. If you've yet to like our school's Facebook page, now would be a great time to do that. We wanted to remind all families who will be learning in school this week. As a reminder, this week, September 8th through the 11th, all students in grades two, three, four, and five will be learning virtually every day with live Zoom lessons. Your child's teacher will communicate the daily schedule with you. If you don't hear from your child's teacher in the morning, please send them an email before 10 o'clock. This week, beginning tomorrow on September 8th, we will welcome back our pre-K students and our grades K and 1 students with the last names beginning from letters A through K. On Wednesday, we'll welcome back our pre-K students and then our kindergarten and grade 1 students as well with the last names L through Z. On Thursday, we're going to bring back that first cohort and Friday, we'll bring back our second cohort. Beginning on Monday, September 14th, all pre-K students through five with the last names A through K will be in school for their full day of learning. And we're going to continue that rotation every other day attending school. Please do remember beginning next week, every Wednesday is virtual learning, and this will allow the custodial teams to be thoroughly cleaning all of our buildings. In order for us to help with the identification of students and cohorts, students will be provided a colored zip tie on their first day of in-school learning for their backpack. This will help staff know which students are entering the building on a given day. Students in the A through K cohort will be given a blue zip tie for their backpack, and students in the L through Z cohort will be given a gold zip tie. Here's an important information regarding face masks. New guidance from the state of Connecticut requires all students, including pre-K students, to wear a face covering. Additionally, neck gaiters are not allowed to be worn in school. These are both changes from previous guidance. Students who come to school without a mask will be provided one. We ask that all families consider sending their children to school with a few masks in the event that one gets dirty and a child needs to change it. Also, we understand that wearing a mask may be difficult, especially on warm fall days. We will be building in mask breaks throughout the day, and we will be showing and modeling for all of our students, especially our youngest learners, how to care for your mask, how to take it on and, and put it, uh, take it off appropriately. So that is important for all of our families. There is a meal update for all Bristol Public School families. For the week of September 8th through 11th, on days that your child is in school, they will have the opportunity to have a free breakfast and lunch each day than they're in the building. Beginning Monday, September 14th, breakfast and lunch will be provided for all students in school, but also be provided for our virtual learners. And here's how the district is going to do that. Students in attendance will have the option of picking up prepackaged meals for the time they will be learning at home. So next week, beginning September 14th, if you're in the first cohort, you will come to school on Monday and you're going to have an opportunity for free breakfast and lunch at school. And you'll have the chance to take home meals for Tuesday and Wednesday, which are your two virtual days. You'll then come back on Thursday and have meals for you within the building. For students in the L through Z cohort, when you arrive on Tuesday, September 15th for your in-school learning, you'll have an opportunity to take pre-packaged meals for Wednesday and Thursday on your two virtual days. For students who are fully virtual, you too will have an opportunity for meal distribution and you will be able to go to Bristol Central High School from 9 to 10 o'clock on Monday and Wednesdays. For the high school locations, multiple day meals will be provided. If you have questions regarding the meal distribution, please contact the Director of Food Services, David Folds, at 860-584-7735, and his extension is 611042. Earlier in the week, we shared the Bristol Public Schools virtual attendance protocols. It's important that all families are aware of the attendance protocol for all students and that all students will have access to a daily checkout form posted in Seesaw or Google Classroom. This form must be submitted each afternoon by 2 p.m. If you have questions or concerns, again, please partner with your child's teacher. We understand that students and families may be catching up on learning in the evening, and our teachers will work with families to be sure credit is given for the day's learning. For more information, again, contact your child's teacher or feel free to give me a call. 
If you have not yet picked up your child's device, you need to contact your child's teacher tomorrow as soon as possible. We will offer a device pickup on Tuesday from 5.30 to 6.30 at Southside. These time slots are for pickup by appointment only and must be pre-scheduled with your child's classroom teacher so that we will have your device ready. Information was shared last week with all families as to what to expect if your child is learning virtually. Included in the email that I sent out to families is a link to that presentation as well, so our virtual families will know what to expect each day, how they're going to be handing in their work, and the expectations for communications. Here's an important change. Due to revised COVID protocols, we will no longer be meeting on the back blacktop for the first few days of school. This means that all students will arrive at school and, imme and immediately enter the school to have breakfast or to be escorted to their classroom. We will have additional adults on duty each morning to help students get to the cafeteria uh, for breakfast or to their classrooms. So that means if you're dropping your child off by car, adults will be all the way along the pathway to make sure everybody safely gets to where they need to be. For students who would like to have breakfast, please remember that you do need to arrive between 8.35 and 8.45 so that you will have time to enjoy your breakfast. Also, in order for us to uphold all safety and security protocols, we appreciate your understanding that families are not allowed to walk their children into their classes. We also have a, a system in place to try to reduce the families coming into the building, so we will have staff situated outside. If you have questions or if you need to share information with the office, that will all be done digitally, digitally so that you can communicate to your child's teacher and to the main office. As a reminder, school will end each day at 325, with the exception of our first Wednesday, September 9th, and that is a 3 p.m. dismissal. Please remember that you or whoever picks up your child must have a photo ID in order to have your child released. Our pre-K and kindergarten classes will be dismissing out of the exterior classroom doors, and grade one will dismiss through the front glass doors. Although this year will be different from years past, we are incredibly excited to welcome everyone back for our first day of school. It's been 177 days since we welcomed or seen kids, and we can't wait for that to begin tomorrow. If you need any information or your child's teacher's email address, please contact the main office. Have a great afternoon. I hope you can join me at 6 o'clock for a Facebook Live read aloud, and we look forward to our first day of school tomorrow. Have a great evening.